talking about emerging winners, you know, what's actually emerged the biggest winner this time around are the exchanges yeah. itself. They say the house always wins. Yeah. Ramesh, you've been talking ad nauseum about how exchanges have strong fundamentals behind them. True. Is there more to go? Uh, looks like there's more to go and, and I'll say this because there's still a lot of disbelief, you know, and there are structural changes which has hmm. led to this big outperformance. You know, sometimes people just look at the stories of 3x and 4x and the, and the fear. But there are fundamental changes happening. There is an earnings upgrade which is happening for BSA and that's the reason why it's been the best performing stock of, of this year. So let me just run through because, you know, I'll done this uh, piece in, in uh, early October yeah. and I'd said in the month of October there are a few triggers to watch out for and they've absolutely played out that way, you know, for <sighs> BSA. This, uh, since October itself, the stock is up 86%. Okay, uh, MCX, since October 1st, the stock is up 40%. And IEX, which has been a laggard in that, in that pack, is up 4.5%. I'll come to individual reasons for all of them. The first is BSC. If you look at BSC, why the stock has rallied so hard, and even since October, why the stock has moved up. The first big trigger was the derivatives volume picking up. And now they've launched the BSC Sensex future as well. So that's going to further add to the earnings going forward. Uh, and all the fact that uh, there is going to be pricing, uh, you know, uh, pricing stability as well as and when the volumes improve and they've actually uh, announced the price hike which is 5x more than what they were charging earlier so clearly BS is rallying on the back of large earnings upgrade which is yet to come as well but now about on valuations as well after the big move in BSA the stock is now trading at close to 47 times on FY24 estimated uh, price to earnings right so uh, valuation a bit of concern but there is massive growth ahead and that's why it's been an outperformer the second stock is MCX why MCX rallied pretty hard since October 1st. The key reason was a shift to the new platform, which was a TCS platform. That is now stabilized. We've hardly seen too much of disruption there. The fact that there were a lot of concerns about competition, that's also weighing as well. Uh, so, the, uh, so again, that is something which is not going to come so soon. In terms of valuations now, uh, after a big up move, the stock is now trading at close to 36 times on an FY25 estimated price to earnings. So valuation wise, uh, it's captured a lar lar large part of it, but the momentum can continue in M6 as well. Now, the third one is IEX, and I want to focus more on IEX because that's been a rank underperformer in the exchange platform space. And there are reasons for it, right? There were regulatory overhangs because of which uh, the stock was not doing good. Uh, remember, there was a strategic seller as well. Dalmia uh, uh, Bharat owns a large chunk. They're still after selling 4.5% uh, last quarter. They own nearly 8% stake, so that overhang will continue. But for IEX, there are a few important triggers to watch out for. It looks to me that the, the negatives are in the price now. Any positive surprises can see a big re-rating and those could be, there could be market coupling, that could be a reason to watch out for, there could be some clarity on uh, MBD as well. So that's a big trigger to watch out for. In terms of valuations, uh, relatively, uh, compared to uh, the other exchanges, relatively cheaper at, at close to 31 times on FY25 estimated price to earnings. So while there has been a big move in MCX and uh, B, uh, BSC, largely because of the fundamental reasons, watch out for IEX as well going forward. All right, and I wonder, you know, if NSE comes to list, what happens out there if and when if it If and does. when they come to list. Because <laughs> right now, they're, they're quoting a discount to both Absolutely. Uh, BSC 20, and MC, 21, so 22 times, uh, yeah. you know, in the, in the unlisted market. But thanks a lot for that. Nimesh, you had highlighted it earlier, and we've done a quick revision on that front as well.